These are 100 Minecraft myths that might be fake, starting with you can create a wind charge cannon using a potion. All right, how are we going to do this now? Okay, so we have a splash uncraftable potion. This is the wind charge potion. Do I splash it on the chickens? All right, we get the, uh, we get the wind charge effect. This is good. And then do we just we hit the chickens with our sword? No. Oh, oh wait, we got a little bit of a jump there. Wait, what if we use the sweeping edge? Will we get more? All right, here we go, here we go. Now, now we do this. Boom. Oh. <laughs> Yes, you can do this, and it is wild. And now I'm probably going to die. <laughs> you can get colored maps in Minecraft. This was actually submitted on our Fire Nation Discord if you want to join, link in the description. We have the command too from the person that submitted it. Is this gonna, is this real? Am I about to get banned from Minecraft? What is, <laughs> what is it? It's blank. I mean, I like, I like the little red color we have. All right, editor, zoom in. Yeah, it is red. Okay, they, they, they gave another one. Maybe this next one's better. And we'll bam. Oh, it just, like, like, they are colored in your inventory, but they're not, like, I thought they were going to be colored. So it just, <laughs> they are real. This myth is confirmed, but it doesn't, you can't do anything with it. Wait, there is a hidden spoon in Minecraft? Are we talking about, like, the Trident's brother? Uh, the reason why we're above this, <laughs> we're above the temple because we're, oh, there it is. We now have the spoon effect from the Elder Guardian, aka mining fatigue. Is this the spoon that they're talking about? Is this like an accurate representation of how long it takes to break a block if you were to use a spoon? How long is this gonna take? I mean, I see I see two pixels cracking. All right, well, we're gonna sit here and we're gonna hold left click. I will come back to this at the end of the video and see if we can even break it in the five minutes it takes. <laughs> There's no way that people actually do this. We have, we have, we, we still have two pixels broken. Iron bars are useless at protecting end crystals in the end? Then why are they there? Okay, so this one, like this one looks protected, right? And the, the dragon's trying to kill me. Can you stop? We did test this in a video. You can't actually shoot through iron bars, but I think it's because this little corner is open to this end crystal that you can just shoot through and then explode it. What is the point, ladies and gentlemen? The iron bars are actually useless in the end. Die, potato. <laughs> If your campfire goes out, you can use a flame bow to reignite it. Wait, I think this is actually true. But you want to know what's even crazier about this? Okay, so if you have the campfire like this and you extinguish it, the next thing is with the shovel. I did not know you could use a shovel. Now, before we test this, I want to show you guys what happens if you try to light it with lightning. Shaman, lightning. Okay, don't summon it on the horse. Come on, go on the copper rod. As you can see, lightning does set things on fire. But if you try to do it on the campfire, like, it, it just, it doesn't work. So I don't know if the flame bow is actually gonna work. Cause like, if the lightning didn't work, is this gonna work? Wait, did it work? I can't even tell. So you can use a flame bow, but you can't use lightning. Somebody explain this to me in the comments. Cause that makes no sense. You can shoot arrows through walls using Enderman? Wait, do they like teleport the arrow for you? All right, so I'm gonna just try shooting a regular wall, right? Okay, obviously it doesn't go through. Just, I'm showing you guys there ain't no mods or any craziness. So how close to the Enderman do we have to get for it to go through? Is it like right in the center? What? Okay, don't look at me like this. How do I get this thing to go through? Oh, wait. Wait, that one, that one went through. You can literally see it in the tree over here. Wait, I do not understand that. So if I shoot like, is it right there at his chest? Or is it higher? No, it's, is it lower? Wait, I found it. It's like right here. The arrows actually go through it. What, that is just crazy, man. Good luck getting an Enderman though to sit in a minecart. Hey, good luck. <laughs> Stair crafting doesn't make any sense in Minecraft. Oh no, I think I know what this is. I think it takes six planks to make stairs, right? So all six of these to make stairs. But the problem is I think you only get four stairs. So somebody explain this. We used all six of these and we get this. I mean, this has got to be like taxes or something. I, I just don't, where, where does the wood go? Honeycomb is the only block which has the same mind speed with every tool. So you're telling me that no matter what I use on this honeycomb block, it's going to break at the same speed. All right, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna put down a few. We're gonna show all of these blocks being broke at the exact same time so we can confirm this or not. Now they literally break all at the exact same time, no matter what you do. Is this true? Is it oh, actually only honeycomb block? Or is there another block that you can use? Please let me know. Okay, the myth here is that breezes don't take fall damage, which would make sense. Oh, hello there, Ollie. Hello, Ollie. 
<laughs> I mean, I can see this one being legit. Like, think about it. Like, this guy literally looks like an airbender, although way older than Aang from Avatar. Okay, I'm gonna just, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm, I'm gonna say he's not gonna take fall damage. Oh, and he does not take fall damage. Could you imagine if he did? That would just be shameful. Okay, also, is it just me or does he fall insanely fast? Like, did he not just fall faster almost than we did? did he, I feel like he needs slow falling. This is how he should fall, right? very gracefully and slowly. Okay, so maces don't work with slow fall. All right, I'm gonna do it with, let me do it without slow falling first. All right, I gotta time it perfectly, hit the pig. Yeah, like take no damage. Uh, that is just so freaking cool, by the way. So I've got the slow falling now. Is this because it would be too easy? Like I could see this being a real big meta, but they should still let it happen, right? It didn't do anything. That That's like one of the most, like the biggest thing about a slow falling potion is that you could use it with the mace. Look, I get it, Mojang, okay? We're, we're talking about velocity. The speed at which you fall is what makes the mace work, but it should still work based on blocks. You can die wolf armor. Haven't we tried this before? Unless they updated Minecraft? Okay, let me see. I, I think I gotta tame this guy first too. Oh, okay, now he's tamed. I'm gonna put it on the wolf first and then I'm gonna try to die it. Okay, nothing is happening. Okay, sorry, wolf, I need to punch you. Yeah, okay, you definitely cannot die it on the wolf. So do I need to put it in the crafting table? <gasps> wait, does it work with all the colors? No way, dude. Wait, I got an idea. Witness greatness, ladies and gentlemen. Witness, scoop. Grass, you're blocking me. Look at this. Just another reason that dogs are better than cats, even in Minecraft. Because you can't put this on an ocelot. Wait a second. There are three new creepy music discs. Did we even need more? Where do I find these? Do I, do I just type disc? We got Lena Rain. Wait, oh, there's two from Lena Rain. Yo, these discs look funky. We're going to start with the first one from Leanna Rain. Oh man, that, that, that's enough. That is enough, Lana Rain. Huh? Now we're just giving kids nightmares, huh? Okay. Now we got, oh, we got another banger coming up from Leanna Rain. This one is honestly better. It's like slightly relaxing, but also like I'm about to be murdered. And then finally, oh man. Okay, tell me Aaron Sharath has a little bit less creepy tastes. It's not very creepy. This one sounds like you're about to get married, but with like, I don't know. I can't really picture it. I mean, which one of these are gonna be the most viewed on Spotify, huh? Which one's gonna have the most listens? This one is terrifying, by the way. This one, easily, this is the most terrifying one. Never put this disc in a music box. <laughs> you can make infinite slimes using a secret potion. Where is the new potion? Oh, potion of oozing. Do they have a splash potion? I think I need a splash version of it. There is, in fact, a splash potion of oozing. What does that mean? Do I... Okay. Oh, oh wait, he actually is oozing. Wait, do I ooze? I'm, I am now oozing. Do I then, do I kill the piggy? Wait, 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 so does it work with any mob? So if I just ooze all of these guys, make sure they're very oozed. Wait, that, okay, this is wicked. I think this is probably the best myth so far. But the question is, will I ooze? Oh, I was gonna kill you. Did I ooze? Yeah, you did ooze. I do ooze! Yeah, it's confirmed best myth of the video. You are welcome. Zoglins are so stupid they will try to attack armor stands? Really? So are Zoglins like bulls? Okay, so I'm gonna just spawn a pig. No, oh, the pig is gone. That, you're telling me that if I spawn a pig and then spawn an armor stand, which one is he gonna choose? Oh, it looks like it's going towards the pig. Come on, come on. Look at this beautiful armor stand here. I literally will try to go for the armor stand. Wait, if it can't actually kill the armor stand, does it just sit there? <laughs> oh no! Wait, literally the pig is running into the Zoglin and it's still attacking the armor stand. I actually can't believe this. Like these are some brave pigs, y'all. There is apparently a new end screen background in Minecraft. It's once you go through the end. Wait, is, is this it? Can somebody confirm in the comments? Is this the new end screen? I never go through the portal after I defeat the Ender Dragon, so I don't know. <laughs> what did it used to look like? All right, for reference, I had to actually Google it. This is what it used to look like. Now it looks like this. 
What do you think? Is it better? I'm going to say yes. Infinitely better. I'd much rather look at this than look at dirt. <laughs> wind charges. What is a, first of all, what is a wind charge? And can it stop me from taking damage? <gasps> what? Bruh, this is sick. <laughs> okay, well, now I think we got to test it. I don't think I was fast enough, actually. Hold on. Does it throw? Oh, I didn't know. I thought you had to have your block. Okay, no, this works now. Wait for it. Wait for it. Now. Oh, dog. We took only half a heart of damage. Let's go, let's go. Oh, not a heart of damage. This is confirmed. That's so sick. Can you jump eight blocks with wind charges? I want to know. Okay, obviously, one. Easy. All right, what about two? Oh, wow. You don't even have to jump. Three? Okay, now we got to jump. All right, how about four? Oh, dog. We might be able to jump eight. Five. Okay, this is this is, this is is still too easy. Six? Seven? Hey! Oh, <laughs> okay, eight. Hold up. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, you can literally go eight freaking blocks. What about 10 blocks? Now, hear me out. Let's cook with some dispensers. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, come on. I have no idea if these even work with dispensers, but we got to test it. Okay, pressure plates down. Wind charges are in. Dog, I want this to work so bad. And here we go. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> Way higher than 10 blocks, my guy. Okay, we're at 66. Watch this. I think I went to 118. That's like 60 blocks of height. Okay, it's official. Wind charges are now the best new item in Minecraft. Fight me. There are seven items which have Easter egg positions when you use a command to place them on your head. Also, whoever comments this command, we will pin it. Okay, starting with the in rod. Yeah, the classic, dude. The old unicorn, man. And they say they're not real. Minecraft is proof of this. The bone. The bone, <laughs> dude. Okay, what? Nah, nah, this is... I'm gonna be seeing this later on TikTok and not in the way that I want to see this. Oh, codfish. What is it, a phone? Yo, new phone who dis? It looks like it's biting my ear. Banner? <laughs> okay, uh, I like this one. Feather. I you know it's kind of, it's kind of cute. I don't actually mind this one, but the banner's the best so far. Lead. Okay, now what is this? This is like a cursed monocle. All right, show me that. See, that's a monocle. This is this is this is not a monocle. Okay, and fence gate. Why can you put a fence gate on your face? I kind of look like a gladiator. <laughs> Wait, it also kind of looks like it kind of looks like glasses. Oh my gosh! Now I can have glasses in Minecraft and in real life. <laughs> Confirmed, and I'm gonna keep these glasses on. <laughs> The breeze mob is invincible to arrows, which, by the way, I've never even seen. I'm assuming this is where we get our wind charges from. It makes sense that he would be invincible. Yeah, I mean, like, I expected this. It, it's kind of like an Enderman, but this one actually makes sense, because they got the wind around them. Yeah, look at this guy. Wow, there's literally no way to hit this guy. Oh! Helicopter! Bro, I might have just broken one, two, one. I don't know why I'm so good at breaking things. Wait, can we do another one? Yeah! Helicopter! Helicopter! <laughs> you are now a pilot! I don't think that's supposed to happen, by the way. But it is confirmed. <laughs> you can shoot through the new copper blocks. We have a door. Finally, copper's getting some use. Copper, great. Don't make the joke. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Whoa, wait, whoa. Did it just rust? Wait, rewind? I swear this thing, like, rusted. You gotta rewind the footage. Tell me if this trap door rusted. Let's try shooting through the, jo the door first. Nope. Um, okay. Nope. 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 Dog, I can't even get through the door. Okay, what about the grate? Nope. No? The trap door? Nope. No, okay, you can't shoot through any of them. This is busted. <laughs> there is a way of getting rainbow wool. I feel like the most obvious one is to name him Jeb, right? Okay, now, Mr. Jeb, turn into a rainbow. Okay, now we got a rainbow sheep here, but when we shear him... Actually, I don't even know what color we're gonna get. Oh, you just get white wool? Why? Well, we got scam, and that is definitely not how you get the rainbow wool. Can we dye it? Uh, I don't know what order it would be, but I know it's like red, orange, the yellow, green, uh, blue. Yeah, indigo. Okay, we don't have an indigo, and we don't have a violet. Uh, okay, well, that, that's just, that's, that's, that's just not gonna work. Cauldrons? Let's fill the cauldron with water. Put the, put the dyes in. All right, I'm, I'm just gonna... This is, this is awkward, but you never know, man. You never know with these new update videos what can work and what doesn't work. I'm throwing one, a bunch of each in there. Now through the woolen. I could have sworn that we could dye cauldron water, but for some reason it's not dying. 
Am I doing something wrong? I swear you can dye the water in cauldrons. Oh, uh, we got regular wool back. We're gonna have to bust this one. There's still no rainbow wool. There's a new crafter that can automatically craft for you? Where is it, dude? Where is it? Wow, what? There's wax blocks now? Dude. Oh, a crafter. Wait. <gasps> no. Wait a second. Okay, I'm gonna put on this hopper then. Fill this with diamonds. All right, it's going in. Oh, oh. Okay, now we gotta activate it. So, uh, I imagine if I just do this, we'll only make one. <gasps> that is so sick. Okay, wait, we can make a loop. We can make a loop. Dog, make my dreams come true. Spit me out those diamond blocks. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, look at it go. Dude, this is sick. Wait, we can probably make it faster. More diamond blocks. Dog, this thing is at turbo speed right now. Look at this. Look at his mouth. Wait for it. <laughs> you can now actually farm in Minecraft. They have taken notes from Pal World. I I'm, I'm just impressed. Minecraft finally getting good again. You can now protect your dog with armor. Wait, so this means PewDiePie's dog wouldn't have had to die? Hello? Come here, dog. No, dog. Dude, was that really necessary? Okay, come over here. Come over here. How do I build you armor with the armadillo? Okay, crafting recipes. Uh, oh, wolf armor. 11 armor? This is more than a diamond chest plate. Dog. Literally dog. Yo! This is crazy. All right, dog, get him. Get him, dog. Look at this Chad go. That is crazy. That is crazy. Well, I mean, either way, dude, this is this is confirmed. Ooh, you can trim wolf armor. This would make sense because you can trim regular armor. So why would you not be able to trim a wolf's armor? Huh? Oh, no. Add a piece of armor. Bruh, this is a piece of armor. This doesn't even have armor in its name. Why would you... Wait, okay, why would you add such a base update, Mojang, and not let us trim the wolf's armor? So diamond chest plate has durability. 525 out of 528. But if I punch the wolf... And then I take his, can I take his armor off? Oh no. Cover your eyes. I'm sorry, like it hurts me more than it hurts you. Oh, no durability on the armor. This is busted. You actually can't trim wolf armor. Tame dogs now have three times the health as non-tame ones. Interesting. All right, so we got a non-tame wolf here. We're gonna crit it. <laughs> for one hit. Okay, now we tame him. Sure, I just feel like this isn't gonna work. Like, why would you get more health for taming? What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, it is legit. I just blown away. Bro, you don't even have to crit the regular wolf. You don't even have to crit him. He dies in one hit. But then the tame wolf. One, two, three, four. That is absurd. Now, okay, now there's an actual reason to tame your wolves. You have even more of a reason now to give that dog a bone. There is a new secret vault item which requires a key to open. Now this has got Fortnite vaults written all over it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, 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 this looks like where a vault would be. Oh, dude. Huh? <laughs> it's just potatoes. I feel like we have to find something that needs a key. Or like, something has to have a keyhole in it. You can't just stick holes and stuff. Oh, is this a vault? What? What? Okay. Wait. Do I have to time it? What? Whoa, this is insane. I'm just going to YOLO it. Do you get all the items or just one of them? Oh, you get... Wait, that is sick. Oh, and you can't do it again. Unbreaking 2, Protection 2. Wait, that's so freaking cool. Wait, okay, I got just a question. Like, I want to see, like, what if I break this? Oh, uh, server, I'm going to need a 15 C5. Now that I think, actually. Oh, wait, they're breaking. You can break it. Okay, it takes a long time. Oh, let it crack. Dog, you get nothing. That is confirmed. To remove dog armor, you have to use shears. Because I killed my dog earlier. And I tell me, oh no, if this works, that means I didn't have to kill my dog. Oh no. Did I kill my dog for nothing? I'm about to find out. Three, two, one. Dog! I'm a terrible human being. I'm sorry. Oh, you can use the new wind charges to activate redstone devices. Really? Let's try this with a button and a lever. I said that backwards, but uh, you know. Okay, button first. Oh. <gasps> it works. Wait, what about a lever? Dog. That is cool. Because I think even with a bow and arrow, you can't do this. Yeah, dude. Wind charges are officially better than bows and arrows. The breeze mob can open doors with its attack. Well, well, well. This should be a breeze. All right, Mr. Breeze. Do your worst. What the? What? What? It, what are you? Okay, well, he definitely opened up the doors. Hey, buddy. Come on, come on, try it out. Hey, yo! That's freaking crazy. Can he open the iron, though? Oh, 
He cannot open the iron. But the fact that he can open up other doors is crazy. Wait, this means that we can also use wind charges to open up doors. Hey, hey, uh, let me cook. That's so cool. If an armadillo is rolled up, it takes no fall damage. I can't believe, bro. They came to Texas and got these. Look at his armadillo. <laughs> Oh, he's so cute. Okay, now, how do I roll him up? Do I have to damage him? I need you to roll. <gasps> he's rolled. He's kind of like a portable shulker box. Okay, buddy. I really hope this doesn't hurt you. <gasps> oh, no. I think he still dies. All right, Godspeed. Oh, wait. <laughs> he still dies. All right, well, that was a bust. <laughs> you can get infinite scoot from an armadillo. Infinite scoot? Give me that scoot, brother. Oh, Oh, dog, I'm gonna need more brushes. We already got, we got four scoots. Oh my gosh. How many scoots can we get? Dude, this is looting and scooting. Dog, how, this is crazy. Oh my God, how do you have infinite scoots? All right, before I break my fingers off, this is confirmed. <laughs> oh, you can shear the shell off of armadillos? But what if it hurts the armadillo? Oh, this might hurt the armadillo. Aha, busted. You cannot shoot armadillos. You can die wolf armor, and if you use the marshmallow name tag, you can unlock the rainbow. So we can't trim it, but we can dye it? I never thought about dying it. <gasps> okay, well now we learned something new, but now what about if we use the marshmallow name tag? Okay, rainbow armor if we use the marshmallow name tag. I mean, does it work? Marshmallow. Marshmallow? Oh, the no rainbows. Sad. You can breed armadillos with spider eyes. This would finally give some use to... Why? Y'all are freaks. The fact that y'all ate spider eyes... Oh my, what am I looking at? <gasps> baby Dillo! It's so cute! You can't protect baby dogs with armor. Well, well, well. We will see about that now, won't we? Now, I just learned this today, but if you right-click a spawn mob with the same egg, it will create the baby version. Anyways, okay, you're now, you're now tamed. <gasps> you cannot wear the armor! You cannot protect your babies... They must grow into adults, but that's kind of sad. Wait, you can pick up trial spawners with silk touch. All right, trial spawners. Let's see if we can pick. What the heck? You followed me? You're crazy for that. Oh, dude. If you step in front of my pickaxe, I will end you. Please like the video and subscribe so he doesn't get in my way. I swear this dog has got a mind of his own. Stay right where you're at if you reset my progress. Dog. Uh. No! Wait, just... You're welcome. I saved you years of life. I <laughs> just... That was worth it. You can now play Minecraft in slow motion because you can set the tick rate. Look at this. Hey, yo, dude, look, I got, I have so much time. Like, I don't even have to worry. I might be falling to my death, but literally I can take all the time in the world. You know, just going creative. Oh yeah, maybe I'll get a little, maybe I'll get a water bucket. Uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. I mean, I could also probably get a wind charge, but I mean, look at how much time we have here. Like, this is crazy. And then take break, 21, bam! Ah, that's so sick, dude. Bats have a new updated texture, but unfortunately they're flying really fast. And, but we now know that we can freeze things. Server, please set the tick rate. Wow, now I feel like I'm in a movie. Oh, they do, look at the, uh, bats look so much better now. They actually look like bats. I mean, they have massive ears on the dog. How do they have eyes? But now the coolest thing about this is while the tick rate is set to this, look at this, shkabloom, shkabloom. Now these poor bats ain't gonna know what hit them. All right, server, please unfreeze. That is so cool. <laughs> For spring, we've released the largest Fire Merch collection ever with over seven new designs only available at FireMerch.com. Link in the description. Shields now follow you and protect you when you go into third person. The shields used to look so weird before this update. Now look at them. Look at that. They actually follow you. Well, okay, except for when you look down, but they are way better than they used to be. Armadillos sometimes have a secret when they die. What, what, what secret are you holding? No secret? If one of them's got a secret, they're there. <laughs> These guys are tough to crack. I have butchered about 100 armadillos and there is no secret, man. This is a bust, I'm sorry. Breezes drop snow when they die since they're so cold. Where, 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 Breeze? How cold are you really, my friend? Oh, they take a lot. Oh, they, they dropped wind charges. I didn't get no snow though. Dog, these guys are not dropping the snow. We're getting wind charges, but we're not getting snow. They don't, they don't, they don't drop snow. That this is this is busted. They drop something way better. AK, the wind charge. Armadillos are resistant to arrows since they bounce off its shell. This would make sense. And psych dog! Why not? This would be the perfect. How is the arrow penetrating their shell? I really wanted this one to work. 
but it's a bus. You can look into an Enderman's eyes through a copper grate without it getting upset. Well, 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 Enderman. You know what we gotta do. This is for science, as always. Oh, whoa, whoa. I forget how tall the Enderman is. Okay, there we go. Hey, you know, just in case, a little layer of extra protection. Never hurt anybody. Oh. Oh, he can't see me. Look at him, look at him. Hey. Look. Oh. Oh. Hey, it's confirmed. Oh, eggs and snowballs can smash pottery pots? I didn't even know pottery pots were in the game. Dude, the Legend of Zelda. We have the Legend of Zelda. Oh, tell me this works. Yeah. Ooh. That is so satisfying. That is... That is so good. As, and, and when they break, they don't even break. Look, you can still get it back. Well, well, some of them. <laughs> trial spawners are TNT proof. All right, Mr. Trial Spawner. One TNT block. Uh, you know, I kind of expected this. But what about if we lightning charge a creeper? There we go. And nothing. Dude, these things can't be mined with silk touch, and they can't even be blown up. The uh, last thing is fill the entire room with TNT. <laughs> oh. Yeah, okay, well, you know, it was it, it was worth a try. Pots can now store up to 64 items. Oh my gosh, the sound, it's so satisfying. You can almost hear by the pitch how many it can fit. 64, literally a perfect fit. And then if you smash it, yay, you get it all back. A battle between a skeleton and witch will never end. Okay, now, it's a very particular way to make this work. You have to make the skeleton shoot you. Oh, okay, well, the timing was off there. Oh, perfect. And ladies and gentlemen, we have started the infinite battle. Oh, but the witch poisoned herself. If she hits him with a splash potion right now of damage, she could kill herself. Wait, did she just drink a healing potion? She drank, she has healing potions? Okay, well, um, confirmed that I'm not sticking around. <laughs> oh, if you shoot an arrow past the torch, it will set it on fire. Now this is the Legend of Zelda. Yeah, yeah. Want it to work? Sight! No! Sight! No! Sight! No! This should work. That's all I'm gonna say is that this should work. This just in. It works in Bedrock, but not Java. Why is Bedrock proving it's better than Java? Is it because there's a lot, there's billions of dollars that Minecraft can make off of Bedrock compared to Java? But hey, that's just a theory. A game theory. If you strike an armadillo with lightning, you get a secret variant. Now, we know this works on moose rooms, but does it work on the dillas? Well, well, well. Um... Yeah, the variant you get is dead. <laughs> That's classic. Fire pumpkins protect you from all damage from dripstone. Uh, I really hope this works. All right, server, do your worst. Oh! <laughs> yeah, just wear a helmet. <laughs> Zombies cannot see you through signs. Where, where, where? Is this a sign that it's time to stop building with doors? Okay, you don't need two, just one. Server spawn the zombies. Oh, please. Oh, look at him, look at him. Oh, 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 what you gonna do? Oh, you guys can't get in. That's crazy, dude. I mean, this, this is kind of lit. <laughs> no, please. Aha. Oh, no. Oh, what have we done? Oh, please. Uh, next minute. Ravages are scared of rabbits and run away? You gotta be kidding me. You're telling me this big old guy is gonna be scared of a little rabbit? Like, I'm even gonna go in survival mode. I'm gonna make... Okay, all right. And now you must run. No, no, you're supposed to be afraid of the rabbits. I don't think he's afraid of the rabbits. In fact, it looks like the rabbits are afraid of him and for a good reason. <laughs> in earlier versions, the Ravager actually was afraid of a rabbit because it's like an elephant with a mouse, but it's, uh, it's, it's rich now. If you type excited Z in survival crafting search menu, it will unlock a secret language in Minecraft. That is a word, excited Z-E. Excited Z-E. What? Whoa. I thought it was that. Okay, we, we're looking normal so far. Hey, Hachosporus. Doro Spruce. Lago. Why is everything just Lago Spruce? What about Ender Bro? Pearl O Ender. Grub. Weapons, nifty objects, chef secret, and cackle fruits. And your loot bag. <laughs> this is dumb, but I love it. You can place torches on top of farmland and it doesn't turn to dirt. Interesting. Well, well, well. We gotta get a hoe. We gotta get some torches. Well, well, well. I can tell you that this is busted right now because you can't even place torches on top of the bar. <laughs> nah, dude. Goats can do parkour. No way, dude. No way. Okay, like, if they can, they would actually be the goat. Tom Brady would lose his title to an actual goat in a video game. All right. Now parkour. What? I'm not moving. I'm not going to the next myth to take one of these jumps. <gasps> Best myth. 
best myth. Every other myth in Minecraft is relevant. If you name a big slime, then kill it, all the smaller slimes will also be named. Well, well, well. I didn't even think about this, but it would make sense, huh? If you know, you know. Flubber! Come on, Flubber. Ooh, we got multiple Flubbers. They're all named. Look at them. <laughs> Tiny little Flubbers. Oh, dude, one day I will harness the power of slimes and take over Minecraft. You can name tag your boats. All right, well, obviously, we want our boat name to be Boats and Bros. Ah, uh, you can not name tag the boat. Uh, it doesn't bust it. How do I do it? My dream is dead. I can't name, I can't name tag my boat. What? what are you doing here? I can do it for you. What do you got? <laughs> oh, what? It's a command, isn't it? Type the command. Oh, dude, that, okay. Somebody in the comments, please type this out for the rest of us people that don't want to do this. No, this is confirmed then. But you can't name tag them. You have to use a command. Oh, the achievement for breeding mobs is called parrots and bats. But those are the only two mobs which can't be bred. That's kind of interesting when you think about it. The parrots and bats breed two animals together. But you can't even breed bats. And you can't breed parrots. Why is this? Mojang, you got no love for the parrots and bats? <laughs> but if you know of a way to breed them, please let us know in the comments or go to our Discord because we need to know. If you name a mob Jelly Cat, it changes to a secret cat pattern slash breed. Why Jelly Cat? I feel like that's so specific. Jelly Cat. All right, Mr. Jelly Cat, what do you have? I'm pretty sure I spelt this right. Okay, before we bust it, let's try it lowercase. Jelly Cat. Oh, come on, Jelly Cat. There is no such thing as a jelly cat. Oh, what the heck? When you light a pig on fire, it's smart enough to go to the nearest water block. Will you, Piggly, go to the, to the water source? Show me that you are an intelligent creature from God's design. Oh. <laughs> He's an idiot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> when you're smart, but you're not smart, you know what I mean? Oh, what about a rabbit? Oh, rabbit, way smarter. Let's give the benefit of the doubt to the pigs. Okay, let's, let's put it in a hole. Now you guys can, there, there we go. Okay, the pigs are, they are dumb. We're gonna make it even bigger now. Oh my gosh. Oh. Finally. This is confirmed and it's also confirmed that they are very dumb. There are three types of frogs, warm, cold, and normal, depending on what biome they respond in. But there is a secret type of frog in the end. Uh, okay, well, as you know, we do have our little desert frog. If we go to the swamp, we get to swamp frog. This is my favorite one. It kind of looks like a copper frog. Now, if we go to the snow, for some reason, they're green in the snow. I don't know. I thought they'd be kind of like white. Anyways, but the end, what kind of frog? Do we get like a dark frog or something? Or like, oh, maybe we get a purple frog. I'm never getting my hopes up again. You can use eggs to light TNT if you throw them through fire. Well, we know you can do this with a fishing rod from one of our other myth videos, but I've never thought about using an egg. Oh, 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 I saw a fire egg. <gasps> Wait. Okay, it landed like right here. Dog, yes. Oh, no way. Wait, does it work in lava? This is excellent. What? Now, server, that was unnecessary. Oh, grindstones remove the enchants from tools. So if you remove the enchant off a of notch apple, you get a secret item and 30 XP levels. How can you remove the enchant from a notch apple? Okay, so we're gonna grind this sword. Four XP levels, but we didn't get the enchants. Server clear my XP. Thank you. Uh, okay. Enchant your golden apple, though. Which can't even go into the grinder. I feel like I was set up with this one, huh? I knew it wouldn't work. Tulips don't give you the right color dye. White tulips give gray. Okay, red tulips, red dye. This makes sense. Orange tulips, orange dye. Pink tulips, pink dye. White tulips, light gray dye. Why? Why did die not to write die? That is, that is, that is, okay, that's stupid. That is very dumb, and I don't agree with this. Whoever at working at Mojang in charge of the dies, you are coming around. If you use netherite blocks to make your beacon, you unlock a secret extra effect. Well, well, well. We have a regular Kevin Bacon be beacon. Uh, okay, as you can see, our effects are over here. I can't build this. Oh, finally, we're done. Oh. Bring home the beacon! What? What do you mean? We got nothing? Did I miss something? Oh, I missed a block? Okay, now? Nothing happened. Why would you build your beacon out of netherite other than to flex on your poor friends in the server? You can use fireworks in a crossbow? How? Hold it in your off hand. Oh. Oh! 
<laughs> Yo! Mazel tov. Wait, okay, I don't think it deals that much damage, but <laughs> it's so satisfying. Wait, do they fly perfectly straight? <gasps> oh, they fly perfectly straight, but they do, like, they explode after a little bit. Wait, so if you time it, can it explode above the horse? Hey, look at this! Oh, and it doesn't deal damage. It only deals damage to them if you hit them directly with it, not if it explodes near them. You can break a decorated pot with a bow and arrow. Why would I want to break a decorated pot? They're so nice. I mean, we did expect this. We, we did it. We did We did know this was going to happen. I mean, it worked with the bow, obviously. Yeah, I mean, okay. We knew this was going to happen. Oh, hold on, hold on. Crossbows also. Oh, dog, wait a second, wait a second. Enchant piercing. Three. Oh, oh, can we go? Wait, could you do two pots? Two pots? Nope. No! Now, now that's just disappointing. It's a load of pot. <laughs> you can break 20 pots in a row by placing a firework beneath. Name a better finale than this. You can't. And, shkaboom! Yes! <laughs> hey, if you want to see more Myth videos, click here or click here. Thank you very much.